In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a freeze frame on your timeline when editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so here's our clip in Premiere Pro. Let's play it. Now, let's say I want to freeze frame this shot here, okay? So select the clip, right click, and we go down to insert frame hold segment, okay? Click that. Now Premiere has created a frame hold, okay? If we play it, and it holds the frame and continues. Now what we can do is, if you hold the command key on the Mac or control on a PC, put the cursor just above or just by the cut, you'll see the arrow key here is turned yellow, okay? So this is added the ripple tool effect. So if I drag along, I can increase the duration of that frame hold. Okay, so if I press play, so now you can see it's been increased. Okay, and again, if I wanna decrease it, just holding command, I'm on a Mac currently, so I'm holding command, and you see it's now turned yellow, and the arrow key is now turned out, or the arrow icon, should I say, is turned yellow, and I can reduce the duration of that frame hold, okay? Now there are other ways that you can create a frame hold. So for example, let's say I want to capture this particular clip here as a frame hold. If I right click and I go to add frame hold, okay? Now what it's done is added a frame hold at the end of the actual clip. Okay. I only recommend that if it's like the end of your clip and you actually want to freeze frame that end of the, that clip, okay? Because as you can see, it's just added this this as an entire frame, uh, freeze frame at the end of this clip, okay? Right, another way, if I just undo that, is say, again, we want to capture that moment or, yeah, let's just say we want to capture that moment. What we can do is with the playhead positioned in the exact position we need it to be, we just go to the window here and export frame. And now we can export a specific frame. So let's just call it BJJ, it stands for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is what they're doing here. And we can import it into the project as well, but we can also select in the browse tool where we want it to be. So if we just want it to go to the desktop, Choose OK, press OK. And now you can see here, if you go to the project bin, that JPEG has been added. So I can now drag that onto the timeline and I have a freeze frame right here, OK? If I right click and go reveal in Finder, I can find the clip right here as well. Check out this video on how to apply a split screen effect to your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro, or check out this video you might enjoy as well. Until next time, this has been Aston Regis, helping you tell your story through video. Peace.